Photography with purpose. My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is right in the edge. Well today, Nori and I are out doing what looks like just some random nature photography. But we're really out here with a purpose. I've, uh, I'm working on a couple different projects. And I'm trying to do better about optimizing my time when I'm out. I've got a list of zine ideas and book ideas. I, I figure when I'm out doing photography, I might as well be working on something that I'm going to want to use in the future. So basically I just picked an area that uh, I had tagged as something with potential for a project down the road. Well, I found me a shot, my first shot. This tree across the river there, kind of sitting on the ledge. I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of backlit here. But it's got nice light colored foliage. And we've got some water running through the foreground, add a little, add a little interest. And I'm shooting this with my 7200. About F11, F13. Just waiting for the, the breeze to calm down. Shutter speed's around. 15th of a second, 6th of a second, ISO about um, 100. Kind of, kind of experimenting with different shutter speeds, see how much of a, how much water I want blurred. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a nice minimalist shot. Hopefully it'll work good in black and white. But, um, hold on a second, I need to take the shot. Where was I? <laughs> it's a nice even light. I want to take advantage of that. Yeah, so that the leaves and the, the, the branches in the, on that tree really stand out. At least I think it does. I think it will in black and white. With the uh, wet, darker rock around it. At least that's how I'm, in, how I'm visualizing it. Now, uh, doing photography with a puppy adds a whole nother level of challenge to uh, photography. <laughs> I hope you get some amusement out of this. Uh, and then someday you'll, you can look back and say, well, I remember when she was in training, when he was too. My, what a team they've become. That's kind of the, uh, the hope, the goal. Right now we're tripping, tripping over each other and uh, she just wants to see stuff and I just want to photograph stuff so we kind of have to have a balance. I've been talking about zines and working on zines. I actually just finished one up and it's at the printer just to try to, you know, practice what I preach. This will be my third in my Sing Monochrome series and this one's focusing on details. I've been guilty of overthinking my zines and just wanting to have the perfect zine. <laughs> you know, how many times can I say zine? Just wanted to, you know, to have it perfect. But sometimes perfection is the uh, death of art, you know. If you wait forever, you're never going to get it. 
they'll never get it done. They'll, they'll just keep up more excuses not to uh, produce it and move on to something else. So I'm looking forward to getting my, my first copy back, my proof, so I can see if it's something I can make available on my website. The last thing I really want for my videos is to sound preachy. <laughs> I'll tell you what you should be doing. I'm telling you what I'm doing for uh, my needs. You may not have a desire to produce uh, a zine or a book, or you may just want to go out and take pictures randomly for fun, which is perfectly acceptable reason to take pictures. And I, I enjoy doing that myself. I'm just trying to uh, make the best use of my time. So when I do, when I am able to get out, I can actually uh, keep an eye out for some of the projects that I'm working on. My clouds aren't uh, helping, aren't, aren't, aren't working, working with me. They're there, they just need to move in front of the sun. And you might have noticed that I'm shooting with a digital camera today. I do that on occasion. And the video that I am working on from yesterday explains what's going on there. So if you're interested in that, by the time this goes up, that one should be should be done enough. So you might check that out if you're curious to why I'm not shooting with my typical medium format or you know film camera. And I'm with my digital today. And probably for the near future anyway. The uh, extended future that that'll change. Yeah, I, I, there's lots of cracks. There's, there's some leaves on the ground, stuff like that, but I'm not seeing that combination that just turns me on. <laughs> uh, you probably hear a lot of that whining. You probably do some of it yourself if, you, if you're a photographer. Just not the right conditions. Actually, the light's pretty good right now. I'm just, uh, I'm not finding a composition that I like at this location in this light. I probably should just head on down to my next, uh, my next location, which is the covered bridge. Uh, especially with this light, this would actually work pretty good over there. So. I guess that one composition is just gonna have to do it here. We'll see what else I can find. As I was heading back to the car, I noticed this light colored tree between these two dark, uh, really vertical fir trees. And I'm, I'm making a, a nice composition. It might be uh, kind of square. And this, this light colored tree is framed between the two, uh, the dark on each side. Might, uh, might, might be fairly interesting. Yeah, I, I like the play of uh, dark and light in here. I'm actually seeing a couple more possibilities. So maybe I'll walk around in here a little bit more. It's, it's kind of open up enough to where you can kind of see if there's a little more potential in here. So maybe this location will be a little more fruitful than I expected it to be. I'm having to use a higher ISO than I'd really like to. I'm at 400 right now. There's so much movement in the foliage on that tree that it, um, it's making it a challenge. So I, I'd rather have the image sharp enough to use and have a little extra grain. I'm not that worried about the grain. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Can wait for it to calm down. Oh, and then sun pops out. I'm trying to, when a cloud comes up, I'm trying to uh, take the images so there's not all these hot spots behind the, uh, the subject. I, on the little screen, it looks all right. <laughs> I'm not really sure if this is going to be that great. Hold on a second. I don't know, it's, one, it's gonna be one of these real vertical tall shots. <laughs> I, I just really like the way the, uh, the vertical lines are playing together. They're dark, and then they've got the light foliage kind of meandering up in front of them. Because the viewfinder it looks like an interesting shot, you know, you just got to take them and if it works out, fantastic. If not, well, you tried, you know. Nori's uh, taking a little break here.
I don't think there's anything much cuter than that. Curling up some camera back. <laughs> Best dog in the world. Okay, now I did say I was heading to another location to do some more shooting. So I probably should. Now I've got a couple of couple frames from this location. This is this uh video is gonna be kind of a bunch of odds and ends. You know, I'll touch on a little bit more of that when we get down to the covered bridge. other odds and ends I wanted to touch on today is thinking about doing a Q&A. So if there's uh, if you have any questions regarding just about anything, I'll just uh, start collecting those and then when I get enough, I will answer them. If you're new to this channel, my 25 years of my career was in journalism, so you could even ask about that. And it's just any personal stuff, anything. If it's, if it's not too personal, I'll answer it. <laughs> now, I know my channel really isn't that big, and it's probably not big enough to do one of those, but I like to be transparent and open about all, this, all my experiences of photography <laughs> in life and that kind of thing. So I'm going to start collecting questions. You can leave them in the comments, or you can find me on Instagram. Uh, at Riding the Edge, and leave a, leave a question there, and I'll uh, keep track of them. And when we get enough, I'll I'll do a Q and A video. It might take a while to get that many. <laughs> well, I think Nori's had enough, and and I'm probably getting a little tired myself. I need some lunch. It's a great spot to end the video. I don't have a whole lot of photos, but uh, kind of did a little run and get on this bridge cars coming through but uh, if you've hung with me this long I appreciate appreciate you coming along so until next time thanks for coming along for the ride Well, today, Nori, I... Nori.